Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mike coming back at you with another video on n number theory. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we had um, talked about um, Fermat's theorem and Wilson's theorem, just really, uh, just really a couple small theorems uh, that you could use to find what a number is congruent to uh, mod some other n. Uh, specifically, when your n value is a prime, uh, then you can use either of uh, those two theorems, given on the or uh, based on the uh, context uh, that you're in. In this video, um, I want to introduce you to the concept of number theoretic functions. All right, and we're going to look at a couple number theoretic functions um, and uh, formulas uh, for those guys. So, given a positive um, integer n. We're going to define uh, two number theoretic functions. Uh, we're going to define tau of n. That's what that fancy looking t there is. Tau of n to be the number of positive divisors of whatever our n value is. And we'll also um, define sigma of n. That's the funky looking O thing there. Uh, we'll define sigma of n to be the sum of all those um, positive divisors of n. Now, for small values of n, we can just list out all of the positive, um, positive divisors or um, positive factors, and we can just count how many there are, uh, and we could add them up and get our sum. For example, if n is 30, then we can list out all the um, positive factors of 30. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So how many do we have? We have 8, uh, so that's tau of 30. Um, and then um, sigma of 30, if you add all these numbers up, you would get 72. So it's really easy. Uh, to do for uh, low values uh, of n. But we want to be able to do this with any uh, positive whole number n whatsoever. Four digits, five digits, six, seven, eight, nine, um, and even uh, continuing on up. Um, tau and sigma here, these are two examples of number theoretic functions. Um, what is the definition of a number theoretic function? Um, it's simply that it's any function whose domain is a set of natural numbers. So how can we figure out tau and sigma for any positive whole number n, no matter how large it is? Well, a bit earlier on in the course, we talked about writing a number in its canonical form. Um, and, that uh, and that made it a lot easier uh, to find the GCD of uh, two numbers. We're going to appeal to that same form uh, once more. And if we write our n value uh, in that form, uh, then we can use the following straightforward formulas uh, to find it tau and sigma for any n value that we have. So if you have a positive integer n, that is in its ca canonical form. You have primes, p1, p2, p3, p4, all the way up to and including pn. Uh, and these primes have their uh, respective powers of k1, k2, all the way up to and including kn. Then these are the formulas for uh, tau and sigma. Um, just on first glance, the formula for tau of n is a lot simpler. Um, all you're going to do for tau is you're going to take the powers that you have on each of your primes. You're going to add one onto each of them. And then you're going to take the product of all of those guys. So it's k, k1 plus 1 times k2 plus 1, times k3 plus 1, times, 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 times kn plus 1. The sum of those guys, sigma of n, uh, obviously you can see it's a lot more complicated. For every one of these primes that shows up 
in the um, canonical form of n, you need to take that prime, raise it to a power one more than what shows up in the canonical form of your given number. So you're going to do that calculation. You're going to then subtract one from whatever that, um, from just whatever that is. That's going to be the top of your fraction. The bottom of your fraction, you're just going to take that prime p and then subtract one from it. And you're going to do uh, that quotient. And you do this uh, with every one of the primes and its corresponding powers uh, that shows up. So it's p1 to the power k1 plus 1, that thing minus 1, all over p1 minus 1. That gets you some number times a second number, which is uh, determined by p2 raised it to the power k2 plus 1, then subtract 1 from whatever that number is, all over p2 minus 1. Take that quotient you'll get some number. And you keep repeating in the same form, you keep repeating that same process when you've done the same thing for all primes uh, and their corresponding powers. You take the product of all of those things, uh, and that is sigma of n. So this video, uh, nice and short, I was just on the statement of number theoretic functions, um, as well as the formulas uh, for tau and for sigma. In the next video, uh, we are going to see a couple sample problems, uh, and we'll see how we use these formulas uh, to calculate tau and sigma uh, for some larger values of n. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop them in the comments section below. Otherwise, until the next video, take it easy, guys.